Hello, my name is Kate and welcome to Chickadee Says. So first off, I am filming in my bedroom and I have two little fluffs over here on the bed. I don't know if you can see them or not. You can see one and two, here we go. So if you hear weird panting noises or they start running around, that is what's going on. But it is cold and flu season and I absolutely hate being sick. Thank goodness I am very rarely sick Thank you, mom. But when I am sick, I throw everything I've got at it to make sure that sickness doesn't last super long. This winter is the first time since I was in high school, which is now 10 years ago, that I got the flu. However, I have a little trick up my sleeve. My mom is an ND, which is a doctor of natural medicine and also an herbalist and has about 12 other letters behind her name. Good job, mom. But because of that, I grew up in a little bit of an alter alternative lifestyle, which means I have lots of tips and tricks on how to stay healthy without having to use pharmaceuticals, things like that. So I thought, because it is cold and flu season right now, that I'd share a couple of those with you. So alongside of lots of sleep and lots of water to the point that you're almost drowning yourself in water, my first line of defense is, I always say this name incorrectly, but it's acylococcnium. It's like the meanest word in the world for a dyslexic to try to say. This is a homeopathic medicine. It's by Boiron. I cannot get enough of it. If I am starting to feel a little sick, I will take one of these and if I catch it in time, it will help me not get sick at all. However, if I am sick, these are little... They come in little tubes and the tubes have little... Oh, they almost taste like sugar pills, the little round pills. But each of these tubes helps with flu-like symptoms. So you drain a tube underneath your tongue, you let it melt. It is really great for anyone. It doesn't have any drug reactions, nothing like that. It's a great way to cut down on sickness, cut down with the aches and fever and chills and all of that crappy stuff that comes with the flu. So absolutely recommend this. Next is elderberry syrup. This not only tastes good, but it is chock full of Antioxidants, bioflavonoids, it's known to, hello. It is also known to reduce the amount of mucus in your body and help with swelling, especially around the neck and throat. So if you have anything having to do with respiratory, the sniffles, the cough, um, congestion, all of that, it will help ease that up. You can take two teaspoons of this daily and boost up your immune system, help you rid yourself of that cold or flu. Next is my neti pot. The idea of this is disgusting. In actuality, also disgusting, but it works really, really well. So mine is the Himalayan Chandra neti pot. A neti pot is essentially like a little like, what do you, I guess you would call this like a teapot. So you use a lukewarm water and a little bit of salt, but it's special kind of salt. So I use this Ancient Secrets Nasal Cleansing Salt. It's non-iodized pure salt. You can get lots of different kinds of salts for different things. There are some that are infused with eucalyptus and peppermint and things like that that help clear out the sinuses even more. But you add a little bit of this to the luke <laughs> you add a little bit of this to lukewarm water in here. And this sounds, this is where the disgusting part is, but it's gonna clean out your sinuses. Sinuses, those little tiny cavities that get chock full of crap, which makes you can't breathe, can't smell, can't taste, all of that. Essentially, that water goes in here, you go over a sink, absolutely over a sink, and you put it up one side of your nose, tip it out, all of the water with that salt comes through to clean out your sinuses, and it comes out the other side with a bunch of gross goop. So, <laughs> yuck, but it works so well. You do this, once a day while you're super congested and it will help get all of that gunk out, clear everything out so you can breathe and feel better. Next is a mixture of lemon balm and echinacea. So I use tincture. Tinctures are a really, really concentrated essence of the herb we're using in an alcohol, so it stays by girls. Echinacea, which is really great for immunity boosting and it actually have been scientifically proven to higher your white blood cell count to help fight infection. This, even though mine's a tincture, you can get it in a bunch of different ways. I know um, they put it in tea, you can get it in supplement form, and I'll link some of those ways below. 
Lemon balm is part of the mint family. It is an antioxidant, it's an antibacterial, and it also can really help you sleep, which is when you're sick, all you wanna do is sleep, and sometimes if you can't breathe, or your head is pounding, or your chest hurts, you're not very good at sleeping, so this will can help you get to sleep as well. So how I take these is I take a little dropper full of each one of them, and pop it in a little shot glass, chase it with a shot of that elderberry syrup, Lemon balm is actually really common as a tea as well. I know Traditional Medicinals sells it, and I'll link that below. So last but not least, this strange little teardrop is my humidifier, and I'm gonna put it down before it leaks on me. But humidifiers are great for so many different things. I absolutely recommend getting one. So not only even when you're not sick, it keeps the air nice and moist, which makes your skin nicer and you breathe better and you're being able to sleep easier, especially if you live somewhere like Colorado where the air is really dry. But when you are sick, the moisture in the air from a humidifier, which is essentially taking water and making it into a cool mist, it will help keep your lungs, your throat, your nose, your sinuses really hydrated, which will help with healing times because all of that mucus can get out of your body. Also helps it easier to breathe and easier to sleep because a lot of time when there's really dry air, you're going to make the same amount of mucus, but that mucus is going to dry up and get stuck in places. So when you have a sinus infection or something like that, everything is tight and closed. So that water in the air will help open that back up. So those six things are what I use every time I get sick to make sure that my sickness doesn't last too long, to get rid of those symptoms and get back to life as soon as possible. If you have any questions about homeopathic medicine or suggestions for videos you'd like me to film, leave those in the comments below, as well as if you have any tips that help you get over your sickness faster. If you like this video, be sure to thumbs it up and subscribe, and we'll see you back soon. Bye.